Guess Tuesday is the day of final dress rehearsal. We open tomorrow, and as you can see, it's pretty cold and gross out here today. And I think there's a pending snowstorm, so we might not even get to do our dress, but we're keeping our fingers crossed and hoping for the best. And, uh, gonna knock this out today, last day of tech. See, it did start to snow. Uh, we may, we may get called back. I don't know. I didn't really think it was going to snow in Arkansas, but, but it's cool. It's, it looks nice. Before we go any further, you have to do me a favor and hit that like button and the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can catch all my latest content right here on Life of a Working Artist here on YouTube. Enjoy the rest of the episode. Just got a bite to eat. Looks like the weather is doing what it does. And I think we are going to go ahead with the scheduled final dress rehearsal tonight. We're called at 5.45 for fight call and then six o'clock we get into our costumes. I don't know if we'll have a crew. Some of the people that are on the crew do not live within walking distance to the theater, but we, the acting company, we're just steps away from the theater. So we will be called and we will be doing the dress rehearsal tonight, which is good because we, we go in front of an audience tomorrow and it'll be good for us to get this final in. Walking down these stairs. They have salt on them, but you know, you just gotta make sure you take your time. You don't wanna bite the dust. <laughs> this is the first, my first snow of the, the new year. I'm gonna go this way and try to beat the, uh, beat the ice. Oh man, hope I don't go down. <laughs> Ooh, I'm walking like I got corns. <laughs> I made it. First act went pretty well, so we're about to start the second act right now. So I'm just sitting here chilling in the uh, in dress. Where am I? Sitting here chilling in the dressing room for a few minutes. And I'm gonna go back out backstage so I can get ready for my entrance for my next and last scene. And then we'll end the show and get notes, and then we'll go outside and see what this weather's done. <laughs> It is coming down out here. I wasn't expecting this, but it's all good. I mean, after all, it is January. It's winter. That's to be expected. It's gonna take my time. Walk back to the apartment. <laughs> all right, man, have a good one. Saying good night to Gray, who plays Appa in the show. He's phenomenal. For those of you in Fayetteville who are gonna come check it out, he's going to blow your mind. So we'll go up here now and watch the second half of the UK game, support my cats, get a bite to eat, call it night, man. We have an audience tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's about 8.30 in the morning. It's Wednesday, opening day. I know you can't see my face, but I'm gonna go over here and see, uh, I bet it snowed overnight. Remember I was telling y'all that we didn't do the Italian and I was kind of happy about it because we just did the stumble slash skip crawl through. Well, we're gonna do the Italian today before our preview. And I'm kind of <laughs> anxious about it. That's my mouth just doesn't move that fast. My tongue doesn't move. I'm not gonna say that.
good house tonight. We had a good audience. They seemed to enjoy the show. We had fun. I mean, you know, the first show was always uh, an interesting experience, but I think we got through it. And, you know, overall, I'd say we had a good, sh good show. Good, good time out, out there. The cast is great. So now I'm going to go in here, decompress, get a little bite to eat, then uh, review some things, and we'll get ready to do it all again tomorrow. So this morning I got a uh, text message from my son's mom saying that he's been having a hard time in school. I didn't know about this. I call to try to talk to him every day. I check on him every day. I always get the response that he's good. So I took took her word for it. Apparently he's been disruptive in class and has been um, getting up and screaming and saying that the reason is, is because he misses me. I'm here in Arkansas working, doing the show. I had to move out of my old place because it was unsafe for he and I to live in. I mean, it had leaks. It seemed like every other month the ceiling in my kitchen had fallen in through and uh, the same had happened in my bathroom and the medicine cabinet fell off of the wall. And it just got to the point to where I, I couldn't see myself living there and continuing to put my son and I in that kind of environment. Also, I just couldn't afford to live there anymore because I was having to commute 45 minutes one way and 45 minutes back another way and taking him to school via Uber in the morning or picking him up and you know taking an Uber back uh, was costing me somewhere close to four to $500 a month. I'm also paying child support. I'm also paying half of his tuition and extracurricular activities on top of 100% of my own personal bills. Even with you know my, my day job, my nine to five, I was still struggling and, and living in the red or barely breaking even at the end of each month. So I moved out of my place and put my stuff in storage and I went home to Kentucky for the month of December because I knew I was gonna be coming here to do the show and uh, moving into a new place when I get back to the city after the show is over. I feel horrible and I hate that Gavin is having such a hard time and he said that he's willing to give up his, uh, his allowance money because he knows that I need money to move back to the city. It's, it's really hard, you know, to, is not a concern of his that he should have. And I call and try to talk to him every day and I can't get through. So keep trying, I'm gonna keep trying and I'm gonna keep working. And when I go back, I have another show to do in New York. So it won't take me away from him. And if I have to not do this for a while again, just so I can make sure that he's happy and healthy, then so be it. All that aside, it's Thursday. The sun is out. It's a beautiful day. We have our second preview tonight. So we're about to go into rehearsal, get some notes, work through a couple of things. Then we have our second preview tonight. And uh, tomorrow is opening night. You know, it's gonna take the good with the bad. I had a couple of good conversations about what to do. And we're gonna move forward with positivity and seize the day and have a great rest of the, of the weekend. Going to the theater a little early tonight. Gonna help one of my castmates do a little line through. So I'd like to be sure of what we're saying when we're on stage tonight. And then we'll get ready, put on our costumes, get ready to do the damn thing. <laughs> it's opening night. We just had our last rehearsal. We didn't really rehearse anything, just fine tune some things. We went over a few things to make sure that everything was as it needs to be to let us fly for this audience tonight. I'm really excited and, and so excited for this cast and, the, and this team of, of artists that has come together here in Fayetteville, Arkansas to put on this production of Kim's Convenience. It's a great script. We have a great group working together and it's not often. The last two shows specifically have been great experiences because of the people. And it doesn't happen every time in this business. So I'm very thankful, I'm honored, and so blessed to be a part of it. And the only thing I wish is that my son could be here to see it. So he'll, he'll get to catch the next one. He's gonna catch the next one in New York. He'll get to see that. I can't tell you what that is yet because it hasn't been publicly announced yet, but stay tuned because that's gonna be coming up in episodes in the future. So be on the lookout for that. Also, do me a favor, hit those like and subscribe buttons as well as the notification bell to make sure you get all the latest content on this channel right here on YouTube. Getting the fit together for tonight. Got my purple polo sweater here. And my 
gray wool pants and black belt. The gray and black socks, you know. Just kind of coordinate. Making the walk to the theater now. It is open at night. We'll sign in and get ready to do the damn thing.